Resource management is key to successful settlement. Trade with others is vital for survival. Today, we look at doing both. Hello people and welcome back to our Fallout 4 Sim Settlements 2 Deep Dive. In this episode we are in Abernathy and we're going to be building here. But to do it, uh, we're going to need to gather some resources from Sanctuary. So with that need, we, are, we might as well set up things to make that easy. We are going to be looking at the IDEK Logistics Station 2 for um, some settlements to so to do that uh, we first I'm too busy doing the other 50 things you keep telling me to do you watch your mouth or you're staying home the next time your father goes to Diamond City well I'm trying to get everything done but the wash takes forever enough griping just get on with your work Abernathy is so active it's hard to record Anyways, um, we've slept. As you can see, we're, we've got daytime. The first step towards setting everything up is uh, we want to check what resources we need in order to set up this. This is the uh, logistics desk. We'll set one of these up in Sanctuary and one of, the, one of these up here. And then once we've got those set up, we will also set up a logistics locker. But as you can see, we need some materials. We're also going to be doing a beacon here, a recruitment beacon here. So we're going to need some materials for building this, the recruitment radio beacon, which I've just said, so I don't need to say it again. And we also want a generator. So we are going to head to Sanctuary. And I'm going to show you a couple things there get some things set up and then we'll move forward so hang out for me for just a second okay welcome back first thing I need is the chemistry station we're gonna move it over to our main uh, manufacturing base just to cut down on travel time in the future I like to have everything set up over here And this gives us, look at, that. look at that, he says. This gives us, under utility, this handy thing called a settlement creation kit. This helps us, as you can read there, to make founding a new settlement more convenient. This kit contains resources to craft a medium generator, recruitment beacon, and city planner's desk. So we're going to cook one of those up here. Also notice my chemistry station is backwards. I'll fix that off cam later on. Uh, we also want, we're going to set up our logistics desk over here. Wham. And we won't be in the terminal so much, but I'll show it to you really quick. Um, you get information, utilities, supply line settings, redistribution settings, and so on. I don't really mess with any of these settings because um, the defaults serve me fine. What we do, however, will do is click on options off to the side here. And it says set up locker. We'll click on that. And then I'll let you guys pause to read this. But basically what it's saying is we need to take this item here, this logistics storage designator, and put it in our primary resource box. And in our case, our primary resource box is going to be our sanctuary workstation. So we'll go ahead and plop it in there. Pause to read that. And then I will say that we do allow tax here because this place gets pretty well defended once we get it built up, so I'm not too worried about resources being stolen. Also, any resources that I have seen stolen have been inconsequential. Um, it doesn't happen a lot. So we want to, we've got that set up. We've got, I also want to set up a logistics locker because this will give us a nice feature when we are working with Sim Settlements 2 and we want to just we have seen any junk that we picked up 
that loot detector did not send automatically um, we can drop it off but I like to have the store all junk button used which will automatically drop the ACM sensors into the workshop as you can see I did this at some point in the past all my ACM sensors are in the workshop so we're going to take those back and then I will show you this we go options oh whoops I've forgotten something we need to turn on supply lines and to do that whoops to do that we're going to come into here and we're going to go down to local leader now we can have supply lines the first supply line we're going to set up is Codsworth we're going to send him over to Red Rocket and I also realized that Red Rocket is not currently in our list of available settlements I must have forgotten to claim it sometime in the past so we're going to say hey Codsworth hey Codsworth shall I accompany you mom yes of course right behind you mom Okay, I'm going to run him over to Red Rocket and then set him up for supply line from Red Rocket to here. So I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Uh, my time, it'll be mere seconds for you, so stand by. And here we are again. Told you I'd be quick. Now, uh, you'll see that Codsworth is uh, over here. He is assigned to Sanctuary, or to Red Rocket. But for some reason, he heads back here and sits, camps out here for a certain amount of time. Um, I don't know what event happens that causes him to start patrolling back and forth. Uh, I did realize that I had forgotten to set him, to uh, set the supply line. So you can see Red Rocket is not in this list, which means he is, he is um, assigned to Red Rocket, but he's parked here for some reason. We'll just set him up as the supply line. Eventually, he'll get his Brahmin. So, back over to here. This should be working now. Um, oh, yeah. These logistics desks, I keep forgetting, need settlement, settlers to function. So, we'll go ahead and find us one. We got some lovely people here. We will just grab you. And we will assign you to the logistics logistics desk. Yeah, that's hard to say for some reason. Okay. Okay. Now this should work. Watch. Boom. Yep. There we go. Okay. So this is nice. We get to store all junk. And this will dump everything in our junk um, category, except for the ACM sensors, into the works into the workbench. Um, this gives us the ability to access remote works benches and as you can see right now we've only got red rocket set up and so we can take a peek Ooh, there's some things in there we'll go ahead and take possession of those uh, back up to and this through these menus you will be able to access all the workshops that are connect that um, are connected to the network once so you don't just get five. You click next and it will go cycle with you through all of them. We can go cancel this though. Go back into options. It also gives us a um, ability to locate the logistics container. Uh, assign the container. And so once I get the, once I've got it set up, I rarely move this. Um, I was experimenting with having a different container for my junk. Um, for sorting purposes, but economically it just works better. Makes more sense to be uh, have the workshop in your main settlement be where it's going to be from everything is stored. Loot detector automatically dumps everything into the workbench, anyways. It doesn't make sense to have one a different um, container for uh, the logistics and another for loot detector. And another thing we're going to do before we leave Sanctuary is grab another settler and set him on the supply line to Abernathy. So if I come into here, select, click the button for supply lines, you can see I've got Red Rocket and I've got Abernathy. So 
As a basic function, we now have the ability to share resources from Sanctuary to Abernathy. I'll show you the next step here as I jump over back over to Abernathy Farm. Okay, here we are in Abernathy. Uh, next step is to set up the logistics desk and assign someone to it. We're going to grab Lucy and have her be our logistics personnel. Put her there. Then we will do this. Now, you saw in the other in the sanctuary that we can access other workshops. Here's another thing we can do. If we choose X, we can access storage. And this shows us our resource, primary resource cases container. You can see junkies are. We have a leg, we had a legendary pipe pistol in the other workbench, and here it is here. Um, and we also, because I wasn't thinking about it, dropped our settlement settlement creation kit in the home workshop, and that kind of made it revert back to just. All sorts of junk because I ain't seen it here yep I don't see it so we'll have to go back and actually tell you what since we've got it done and got these linked we don't really need that it comes in handy if we decided to try and build without hooking up the uh, supply lines I that's usually how I've done it in the past so that's why I'm a little, got a little confused this time Typically, we will not be setting up supply lines right away. Um, once we have caravan um, plot from the Sim Summons 2 mod, we'll do things a little differently. Sorry, I didn't mean to spin the camera there. I'm trying to think because that I got disrupted in my uh, strategy here. Okay, so the next phase is to clear out Abernathy of all the junk. So stand by with me for a few minutes. I'll just do a smash cut forward to when we've got that accomplished. Okay, here we are back again. We've cleared out the fencing around these areas. We've left the food um, because there's enough here to feed some people and we don't need, need to remove it yet uh, to build agriculture. I want to try, I want to get working on the other plot type elements that I can build. Uh, move the water closer to the house so that it frees up that area. Uh, we left the fencing for the cow in place. Um, sorry, the Brahmin in place. Um, and that fencing there because it looks good, it's intact. The other fencing was broken. I also left some seating in here for the Abernathies. We'll probably be removing this later as we get recreational plots unlocked. So let's go ahead and build our our uh, city planner's desk, our beacon, and get some power set up. So I want the city planner's desk to be here. I can't play with you right now, Lucy. Why don't you ask someone else for a change? Sorry, I can't play either. Got that. Now we want to put up the. I don't care how cute you are. It's not happening. Go on. Shoot. No one wants to play with the poor kitty. Okay, so we are missing circuitry. Let's see if we can pull in some circuitry. Oh, there's a circuitry. Nope, no more circuitry. So let's grab some things that we can get for use for trade. And then we'll go visit Drumlin Diner. I'm going to head over to Drumlin Diner and grab some circuit barter for some circuitry and I'll bring us back when I return from there. See you soon. Hey guys, I know I said I'd bring you back when I return to Abernathy Farm, but I forgot that there's something that is at the Drumlin Diner that is of interest to us, is our, in our Sim Solomon 2 play. This new set of magazines has come up, 
And I'll grab this one and show it to you. Perfect. This gives us the ability to make ice cream once we have our ice cream and power armor sharp. Um, sharp shop. So when you see, so be on the lookout for these, and you can make yourself a bunch of different flavors of ice cream. <clears throat> We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? I'll take a look. Sure. All salvage, but nothing's junk. I'll go ahead and work on this, and I'll meet you guys back at Abernethy. Okay, here we are. Nice and foggy daylight morning, and we have a message. Listen to Jake's private frequency. So we will, that's setting us up for our next episode, but in, let's get today's episode completed first. We're going to come down here to the field and we're going to build ourselves a couple of industry plots so that we can get our building materials started. going to plant a couple of these. One now and then we'll, we'll do two now. One for the building materials and th and we'll have one for when we got, get the uh, organic materials unlocked. So that's that and that's that. And then I'm going to change the base on these. And I was reading on the uh, Simpsons 2 forum, forum, someone posted a reply to my uh, video links that these power poles, when, they're, when they are um, snapped together like this, will conduct power from one to the next. So we should only need this guy here going that way. We'll have an, our, some residential plots going this way, and we'll only put one... Um, We'll put a pole on that end, and put a pole on this end, and then that should connect the two, and we'll have power. I also figured out um, from reading the forum that the commercial plots, if you're not following the quest line, I'm assuming that's the case, that the commercial plots will not unlock until you have a, a certain number of residential plots in the settlement. We don't really need to worry about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do single plot, single person uh, houses here because we've got the room to do it. And then in smaller uh, smaller settlements, we'll do multi house, or we'll even try utilizing the three by three plot for residentials. We might as well see, test our what we read online about this. Let's see if this powers across all all three of those and on down to those. This one's got power. This one's got power, so that seems confirmed. This one does not have power. Hmm. That's very interesting. So that maybe not that maybe that isn't confirmed. Because by all, the, by his lo the um, tip that I got to logic, this this should have power, and it does not. Oh well, that's easy enough to fix. We'll just run power from here over to here. Now it's got power. This one has power. This one also has power. So I guess that maybe it would span across two, but it would not be longer than that. So, half confirmed, half debunked. Okay. So, how come our industrials, I'm sorry for the sun angle on this, makes it really hard to read the thing, but, hmm. We'll go ahead and mark that page. Okay. 
Now we just need to have settlers. Did we set up a recruitment beacon? Uh, no, that's right. We didn't have circuitry for it. So those will get occupied very shortly. So let's get our circuitry, our um, ba bum ba bum. Whoopsie. We're out of copper already? What did I do wrong? Hmm. Well, that's an easy fix. If we can't get them here, we can always run over back to talk to Trudy. I'm sort of surprised we didn't have... Because I picked up copper while I was there. Huh. Okay. Now, let's see if Trudy is at Sanctuary. She comes there a lot. I know what happened. We used up all of our copper on that big giant generator that we built. So, fortunately, Trudy's here. Right, that's not Trudy, that's Carla. Hey, Carla. Okay, back again. I won't bore you with Under this. Okay, now we should have everything we need to build our recruitment beacon. Recruitment beacon. Recruitment beacon. Small generator for it. Yep, we got that covered. Bleak. Okay, now we'll just wait for some settlers to arrive. There we go. Now you guys can hear me over the generator. And I think we'll end the episode here. We uh, will wait for the settlers to show up and build up the settlement a little bit. And then we will listen to Jake's frequency and see what he has to tell us. Uh, right before I started recording this, I hit 20 subscribers. Welcome and thank you all for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Let's see if we can get that number up to 25. Until the next episode, bye-bye.